What's going on, everybody? It's your boy C4 here, and the day is here. Madden season is well underway on Beast Mode TV, and I am bringing you what is going to be the beginning of the most in depth connected franchise mode on YouTube. I can almost guarantee that. It's the Philadelphia Eagles. I hope you guys enjoyed the hype video. Some of you guys were emotionally moved by it. But uh, it's just setting the tone here, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready for what is going to be... Uh, well, tonight, it's th it's almost 4, 4 a.m. in the morning right now. I have played the entire preseason, and I'm going to be editing editing all of that as we throw Sam Bradford on the trade block. Uh, so there's going to be five videos before we hit the regular season. I'm not exactly sure of the upload schedule, but... Um, you know, there's, I'm gonna. My goal is to have two videos out a day that are strictly Madden on top of Eagles content. So be it one franchise mode video, one career mode video, or if I double up, most likely on a connected franchise mode video, that content will be coming out to you guys. Um, so now, as you just see some cuts here and stuff, some roster moves. Josh Hoff is gone. I'm getting right the fuck rid of Josh Hoff. I don't even care that he's 71 overall. I'll be able to find a free agent that I just hate less. Um, but yeah, outside of you know putting Sam Bradford on the trade block, and you will see a little shortly, uh, I do add um, Connor Barwin to the trade block. Those are two guys that I can certainly see value to and uh, look at moving. And as I said, I played the entire preseason. What, is it? what would that be? Probably episode three? When I get some offers for these guys, I'm going to, in one and two moves, turn this franchise around. So wait till you see the offers that come in. For Sam Bradford and Connor Brown in it might be the next video, maybe episode two. Not exactly sure, but stay tuned for that. As we have to cut John Doran, boss. I mean, it'd be nice to keep the Magic Man on the roster, but long snappers don't have a purpose in Madden. Uh, so yeah, I was kind of looking around today uh, before I did this to see how other people are doing their connected franchise mode. And there's a couple guys that came up in my related videos, and I saw literally I could probably say three people that have less subscribers than me. And man, they are they are fucking view botting the shit out of their videos. I was just like, all right, let's check this one dude out, all right? Because I put up the uh, the Christian McCaffrey video, so I get related to some Oakland Raiders content, and I saw like he had this fucking connected franchise mode video that came out two days ago that has like thirty thousand views. I was like, whoa, fucking good for this guy. Then I looked at like a video uploaded yesterday, and it has like a hundred and seventy views. So the, the the Madden cheese right now, I mean, the community is not that great. So this is my opportunity to make my impact on the community and bring a different style to, you know, YouTube. Especially for Madden, because it's either the big guys all bootlook each other, they all fucking get to these orgies and circle jerk each other off, or you have smaller channels doing shady shit and not trying to do things the right way. Uh, so hopefully with this connected franchise mode, if this is your first time tuning into Beast Mode TV and you like what you see, subscribe. I'm not going to fucking, you know, plea with you, beg you with you to subscribe. But, I mean, if you like real football content, if you like what I can promise you will be the most in-depth connected franchise mode in Madden 17 on YouTube, I got, uh, for custom draft classes, if you will, where basically I can edit them, I got about six draft classes right now on deck. So that's six full seasons. I'm taking um, dudes that are in grade 11. So they're juniors in high school based off of their rivals ranking. So I took all the five-star studs from rival rankings and I'm going to have them in draft class. So we're going to be super in-depth. As we look at the running back, should I consider signing Carlos Williams? He is there, 79, and would definitely be an upgrade on, you know, Brian Matthews, Darren Sproles, Kenyon Barner. But my theory is I want to go after a running back um, in the draft with my second overall pick, or second round pick, sorry, because we traded the first round pick to the Cleveland Browns for Carson Wentz. Um... Yeah, I want to get a, I want to get a running back this year, so I don't really want to go for a guy like Carlos Williams. I'm gonna look at maybe trying to get a Christian McCaffrey, even though I don't really want to double up on that because I already have the you know the career mode with Christian McCaffrey. It might be a little overkill putting him in my Eagles career mode, but you know there's other guys, like Samaj P. Ryan here. Well, hold up, fuck, I got a notebook here for all the draft prospects I'm gonna have next year. We got Jalen Hurd, Terry and Folston. Um, oh, sorry, not next year, this year, sorry. Uh, Dalvin Cook, Nick Chubb, Samaj P. Ryan, Royce Freeman, Wayne Gallman. Those guys there are all going to be potential second-round running backs that I can add to my roster. I think that will make it a little bit more fun than going out and getting, um, you know, some free agent running backs. But if you think I should, let me know in the comment section below. I might change my mind on that. But uh, one thing I do want to add is a tight end here for sure. 
Uh, I was thinking about Joseph, jo uh, Joseph Foria, who was a pretty much a red zone specialist. All he did was catch touchdowns for the Detroit Lions, but not exactly what I want. I want a guy that I could probably end up putting on the practice squad, and I do find that in my boy from the University of Florida, Jake McGee. This guy was an absolute beast last year, and outside of Antonio Callaway, was pretty much the only guy on offense that did anything. So he's 2460 overall. That's not you know phenomenal, but I could definitely could put him on my practice squad, and. Um, I will say right now, like I said, I am all done preseason, so I'm pretty much three videos ahead of this, and they will be coming out soon, but the cuts, the AI roster cuts are still kind of shit. You will see. I will sign a couple guys to my practice squad that should not have been cut. I'm going to say guys from rounds three on that are rookies this year in the game are on the chopping block. So there's a couple highly questionable cuts this season. I was able to get actually one guy from a divisional rival, which you will see. Um, and I actually, he actually is kind of is at a position of need and a guy that I kind of like, even though he is on a divisional rival. But I don't want to give too much away because obviously I need you guys to come back and watch and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, we're just looking for some free agents here. This this is basically a primer video. I'm not going to get too much into depth. There is no footage of video game. Um, unfortunately, I just want to do the kind of housekeeping, show the rosters, show all the moves I'm kind of making, and then next video will be the first game of the preseason against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and then, you know, you get the game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, the game against the Colts, and finishing up with a game against the Jets, so... You know what, actually, I fucking, I might even just abandon my upload schedule so that I can just get these preseason games out of the way because the real money is going to be with the first regular season game against the Cleveland Browns. That's probably the video you guys are most looking forward to seeing. Um, I was kind of looking at this, seeing what we could look at. Uh, these are pretty, pretty generic shit. Uh, there are a lot of new features, though. I did my review on whether you should buy Madden 17 or not, and I definitely... And truly believe I'm not getting paid by EA. I don't get flown out to Tiburon for some uh, exclusive footage or anything like that. Um, you know, this game, honestly, if I could be as unbiased as possible, last year's game was not that great. It was pretty cookie cutter from years past. This game here, it definitely feels like a change in the right direction, especially for connected franchise mode. They did little tweaks, just the little of tweaks, being able to skip. Uh, when, a, when they call timeouts, being able to skip all that halftime show accessory nonsense that I don't want to watch. Uh, being able to, um, you know, the practice squad, editing the rosters. There's a couple tweaks within Ultimate Team. Like, Ultimate Team, you can do solo challenges now where you get, every, like, I think there's probably four players on every single team. You can earn them. They're not the, you know, full versions of these players. But, I mean, like, realistically, right now, I'm in Ultimate Team. I'm doing the Eagles Challenge. And I am getting... You know, I got Darren Sproles already, Jordan Hicks already, I can get Connor Barwin. So that, just little things like that make this game very, very fun. But, uh, so, you know, relating it back to connected franchise mode, man, I think this is going to be one hell of a game. And uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the ride of the most in-depth connected franchise mode on YouTube. And then what, what's going to make it the most in-depth? Well, it's not going to be, when you, when you hear in-depth, you might think, you know, it's going to be super long, it's going to be super boring. But, you know, where I strive and what makes me different from the other Madden YouTubers out here is I might not have the high fucking caliber editing skills or like that, but I know 10 times more football than 95% of the people out there. So you're going to have sick draft classes, uh, real football knowledge, guys that, you know, if you're playing this and you just play Madden, you wouldn't know that they're going to be good. Guys like Jalen Mills. Jalen Mills is going to have a big impact on my roster this year. I can almost guarantee it. So I hope you guys are with me you're gonna want to stick along for the ride like i said if you're new please subscribe if you enjoy this content if you're not an eagle fan that's another thing i want to try to make this in exciting and engaging for people that aren't necessarily philadelphia eagle fans but yeah like i said stay tuned i got uh, i'm gonna fucking rapid fire all these preseason videos thank you guys for watching thank you guys all my loyal subscribers for mad 17 season is upon us and until next time it's your boy c4 say peace out